Welcome back to yeah. Newsmakers. I'm Jess Toddfeld. With me today is Russell Shippey. He is somebody who woke up one day after working the same job for 30 years and realized there needed to be a change. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Well, what is the big change? What happened to you? What happened to me is I realized I had a vivid dream, a nightmare. And it was literally, I was in the casket, and the preacher was looking down and pointing and saying, he was a great insurance agent. And I'm yelling, one, I'm not dead, Jess, and two, that's not the life that I was meant to live. I realized right then and there, there was far more to life than being a great insurance agent. The next morning, with the vivid dream, I said, I have to sell this fourth generation family business. The problem, as I saw it, was that I was born into a family and I was expected to be in the family business. I was the caretaker for the next generation. But it wasn't me, it wasn't my life, it wasn't something that was satisfying to me. So you knew there needed to be a change, what happened next? Next, I sold the fourth generation family business over the objection of my family I'm sure. and my 80-year-old 80, 80 father right. so that I could go out and create a life that was a daring adventure for me and give back to society and do that which satisfied me as well as helping other people. And I'll tell the viewers right now why we had you here today and it's because you not only figured this out for yourself but you're helping other people to do the same thing. If they are living mm. a life of quiet desperation, you can show them the, the escape mm. hatch. So what did you do next? Okay. One, it took me three years to sell a business, but I created a process to help other people. The problem is that people live these lives of quiet desperation and they, they're in denial the whole time. Yeah. Well, they need to sit down and what I have, first have them do is write their obituary. Write their obituary. It seems like it could be morbid, mm. but you'd say no, it's not. It is a great exercise. Yes. Because it brings you right down to your basic core, to your ground zero, and makes you realize what your life has been to this point. Right. The reality is that at the end of life, there are two great regrets, risks not taken and things not done. Once we know that, we can stop and then we can build a process to move forward so that we can see and visualize the life that feels good to us. So, okay, so we're writing out our obituary and it's starting to become obvious to us that maybe there's something missing from it. We want more life in that obituary. And you also yeah. advocate writing out a bucket list. Part of the process is a bucket list. And I think they, they ran the movie after I wrote the book. They were following you. They were following me. But the real idea is you have to know what you like. And in writing the bucket list yeah. of what you want to do, what you want to be, what you want to learn, what you want to have, you write all of these things down. Yeah. And it's, it's got to be a list 100 long. And then you take that bucket list and you put it out on what I call your lifeline, starting at age zero and going to age 100. And then you prioritize those things on your bucket list. It's work, it's pleasure, it's family, it's accomplishments. I have him, people do it in pictures. Yeah. Because speak, pictures speak louder than words. Yeah. They put them on the timeline and they automatically pick what is most important to them. Mm. When you see a finished timeline, you see, in fact, a life of value and an adventure in front of you rather than the boring, mundane, it's Monday, when will Friday come? You're telling people, or helping people, I should say, you're helping them to live a life of value, figure out what that means. And I've also heard you say to live life like a kid. Live like a kid. See, kids don't worry about what somebody thinks about them. That's they true. They don't worry about that word failure. Yes. You know, failure is just practice. So if, if you look at kids, and my mother said, be a kid. Well, kids keep trying till they get it right. They don't worry about what somebody else does. And they just keep going until they accomplish it. Right. As adults, we're afraid of what society is going to say, what our spouse is going to say, what our parents are going to say. Being a kid, you're free from all of those limitations. 
and you can really go do and be what you want to be. So while that might sound scary to be that honest with people, usually people wait until they're in their 80s to say, forget it, I'll tell everybody, you're fat, you smell, <laughs> right, do, do these things. To, it, it'll actually free us, it'll give us freedom. Absolutely. Now, I know you have uh, the book which is called Our Journey is Our Work, Creating My Obituary. Tell us what we would find in that book. I know people work with you personally one-on-one, -on -one, but it's a way for yeah. other people to get a piece of you. What would we find in the book? Well, in the book, you'll find my story, but it's really not about me. Yeah. It's really about if that guy can do it, I can do it. By reading other people doing it and seeing them selling their family businesses and moving on, taking that risk, you say, he did it, I can do it. Right. So people will come back and they will be empowered to do it and they will also see the path to do it that they know that they can go down and follow. So give us one last nugget as we close out our interview for people who are watching right now and really want to create that value. What's something you've given us plenty that they can do today? Today, they can make the decision that they're going to live the life that they desire. They can make that decision to change and start taking one step at a time. Mm. First step is writing the obituary and then moving on through the process such as the bucket list. The real key is to realize the dissatisfaction and make the commitment that you will follow the steps. Russell Shippey is author of Our Journey is Our Work Creating mm. My Obituary. Is there a website? There is www.bethebestthatyoucanbe.net. All right, people should go and visit there. There's some good mm. stuff on the site. Russell, thank you for being here today. Jess, thank you.